Hello everyone and welcome to the beginnings of Aliens Dark Descent, a real-time strategy horror stealth game featuring the Colonial Marines finest stepping forth against the Hive's worst. And in the effort of helping everyone who has shown up today in order to see how this game works, I'm just going to warn you right now, you're going to want to skip to like episode 3 or episode 4 because this takes quite a while to kick in. Now I have completed the first mission which consists of multiple objectives in order to figure out kind of how the game plays and what I should be looking for as well as try and deal with the screen tearing that kept showing up and of course go through all the options and settings. So if you do want to know more about the game I will be doing a bit of a review later on down the line but for now we're going to be enjoying all of the cutscenes that I have completely skipped through and that's going to be good because the game made no sense whatsoever and hopefully I can finally figure out what the hell's going on. For those already well aware of my cognitive abilities, I make no promises. But upon that note and without further ado, let the descent begin. Game on. Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better worlds. Control, but we'll see what we can do. Over and out. 
Any news from Lethe Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. Bizarre for management. I swear that guy is he's my inspiration for Lockcore. Cool. Anywho, let's go ahead and let's start working on this tutorial to be a D, Q, and E. Hold the mouse. In and out. Complete several objectives in order to advance the story. Understood. Follow that marker to lead the way. Doors with green lights will open automatically. Yeah, that actually can be a little bit annoying. I want doors automatically opening with there's something behind it. Oh well. Let's go forth and meet these nusses praying to aliens. It's an aliens game. There's always someone praying to them. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem. And I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor hmm. is closed due to maintenance. There's always one that You'll prays to the alien. The but that one was us. Did the others stop? We might have to test this. Reach your office to check the camera feed for Cargo Bay 4. I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's Landing. Really? I have a friend there. You know, this does actually look... Like, it, it generally looks like the ships from the movies. They've really put some effort in on it. I think Don't a lot of the alien games, since uh, CA Hayes? did their one, their you isolation, Do you need they've me really to show put you the to effort in for the ambience. Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. Damn. They get to the med bay quick, mate. Need some ointment for that burn. This will pass. Oh, I really want to go in there. <laughs> I want to explore, damn it, but this is training. We should probably try and do this quickly. Supply shuttle Benton. Actually, you know what? We will definitely try and do this quickly. We have a All lot of cutscenes to get through. Two minute warning. And I haven't Shit. seen any of them. And I want the story to make some sense. Good. Now we can start running finally. Though, unfortunately, you can't just, like, tell your characters to run into unexplored areas, like, into the darkness. You have to slowly reveal everything. No zooming to the objective on the map and then just right-clicking and letting them figure it out. God, I love abusing that. <laughs> God, I love abusing that system. Check the terminal. Left-click. Use your computer. Yes. <laughs> yes, Welcome use the old Famicom. <laughs> Ooh. Gas degrees are out. Now, I was going to say, is it only the one, but um, to be fair, one alien is probably all you need. What the hell's going on down there? Throwing that out there? Like... Blood all over the place? Blood literally all over the place? Like, that's our next cliche. Every alien game, alien movie, or if really anything to do with aliens, to be honest with you. They send in someone who's highly unprepared and minimally equipped. But this time, we have literally no excuse because we've just seen the death and destruction. Ooh, what's in here? I'm curious. You are doomed. Goodbye. <laughs> you are doomed. Enjoy. You know what? Where's Chief wrong? Durant? 
We Sell actually deserve this one. On a rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. Blood everywhere, cargo's being opened up, people are screaming and things are on fire. Yes, let's go there completely unarmed without any backup. Yep, this bad day is entirely our fault. I take the elevator. Greetings, Wayland Yutani worker. Oh, wow. So personal. <laughs> is that actually what the elevator says to you? Greetings, fair elevator. Take me forth. Find your way to the cargo bay. Something's before, amiss. Before. What is the quickest way there? I can bring up our map with M. A lovely map it is. But we need to get all the way down here. So this is what I was saying, if I just understood. You can't just like right click on the map and your character will just run there. Yeah, we have to make our way over manually. Top right screen is the floors, understood. Yeah, we can't even click on the areas we can see. It's fair, to be honest. All right, back. Fine, I won't press M to close or exit. Those fucking storage hoppers in Beijing. Bear with you. Supply shuttle bent. Arm control schemes designed to work on both console and Remember, on PC. All unauthorized it's a false economy, darn it. We'll only ever provide you the worst of both worlds. Be deducted from leave allowance. Oh, I like this company. This, this, this is management. We are introducing this into Lobcorp. Any unauthorized breaks or an elongated lunches will be taken out of future holiday allowance. Oh wait, that, that doesn't quite work. I'd have Hold to actually on. give them a holiday You're allowance first. Cargo right. Bay. Thanks. Came out of... Stay with me, stay... God damn it. Completed. Worker dead. Good job. Good job! Excellent! I am a genius. Keep it together. You need to see what's in there. Reach the cargo bay door. Alright, you've just seen a dead person. Once more, this would be a good opportunity. Oh, cool, a flashlight. No, whatever's in there doesn't know I can't <laughs> aim for shit. This would be a good opportunity to get security and um, play with the flashlights. Gun taken. Seems like it came from the platform. Get a closer look. What, the gun? That's the Bentonville. Inspect the Bentonville. Well, reach the cargo bay, same thing. Right. Maybe running isn't the best solution right now. Why did you keep zooming me out? I want to get in close to the horror. Although none of them, none of them seem to have been chest bursted. Bursted? Chest burstery? I got lucky. There's only one of them. What is all this? a lot. I can't leave that thing running loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Right, you, search technician. That's Whaley Nutani equipment right there. And death is no Time excuse for getting up. blood on company materials. Whatever that thing is, well, the repairs sure will be coming from your door. funerary expenses. Actually, I have to get funerary expenses. Together, Michael. Unless it bleeds. But then we can kill it. Run. Run, you fuck out. <laughs> Time to magic weld this stuff together. Oh, 
like these? Did we just awaken the Witch King of Angmar? I thought what I told you. What the hell was aboard the Bensonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? Those things. <laughs> Let us see a spiders. <laughs> and leave babies. That explains so flipping much. Oh my days. Oh my days. That was like a sea of spiders. Late babies. <laughs> I hate face huggers. Such a good enemy, but they are the most creepy thing there is. Right, we need we need to get weapons. Ready. Security didn't do so well. What the hell is happening? Everyone's dying in there. The Bentonville. I can't let that happen. All right, can we please go get this weaponry now? What's going on over there? Otago? The Colonial Marines. USS Otago. This is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Benhamville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix them from here. I need to get to the comms room. What's this? Reach the comm room. Join the Otago. Coming for you. Bring on the Marines. I don't know if I'd say this, but yeah. I need a whole lot of napalm in the morning. Right, we're just gonna go a little bit risky and um, run, run everywhere. It's the last thing they'll be expecting. Lewis, are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You're drawn right to us. Open the damn door. I mean, door. already in the vent. No way! It's staying locked to <laughs> keep those things difference. out. You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> 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 Another one bats the dust. Shit. Lewis! Lewis! Yeah, Lewis didn't do well either. Alert. Fire! Alert. My only weakness. Station integrity. Flaming doom. Ooh, how can we get the round? Yes. <laughs> Manic, off, my brave it's friend. out there. It's waiting for me. Manic, you can't stay here. No, no, they can't see me here. Go away. Go away. Okay. Just keep your head down, right? Well, you are levels of dead. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one that's like screaming and crying in the corner. Yep, they get doomed. This is an aliens game. And there'll be someone to pray to them and there'll be someone there'll be someone who wants to join them and give birth to all the little aliens inside them you know i feel that's bad because it's predictable but at the same time i'm totally game for it bring on the marines daniel you all right deputy administrator it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're, they're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. 
I wish I could help you further. Shit. The Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world... No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. <clears throat> The Cerberus Protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. There is something so creepy about that AI dude. I... I think it's the, the lack of... It's not even light. It's, I was going to say movement, but it's, it's the lights as well. Like, usually there's something on the face that makes it clear when it like robots is talking but that one it's it's just nothing there is nothingness the stillness the depths of their eyes shrouded in darkness right i don't really like where that's going so um yep moving on moving along let's um <laughs> let's despair at the fact that even though this looks very accurate to the movies this would be such a horrible place to live. My god, get some decor in here. Home design. Carpets. That's what this needs. Carpets everywhere. Fluffy ones. Activate the Cerebrus protocol. Three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentaville, Baldrin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by. Wait, days. What is more, this is why you never skip the cutscenes. This is all making way more sense now. Right, enemy <laughs> detection. The detection delay is represented by a yellow line that goes from the enemy to one of your squad members. Enemy detection basics. When your squad encounters an enemy while undetected, the enemy will not detect your squad immediately. Instead, there is a detection delay represented by a yellow line that goes from the enemy to one of your squad members. This line will gradually fill up with red, and when it is completely full, the squad will be detected. That goes for any random member in your squad, including when they get stuck behind a wall. Throwing that one out there. 
freaking Marines. Cover basics. You can avoid being seen. You can move to the small green area on the floor. Boom. Oh, we're gonna run. Double click. And they hold control to crouch behind. And hide, my minions. Where's the cheeky bugger? Bugger. Right, let's start moving, because, um, yeah, that thing's coming over. Oh, God, I can see us. Ooh, ninja bear. <laughs> I have no idea where this thing is, but we are just tanning it. We're going to get all the way over here behind this, sneak our ways around. To make it behind. Ooh, yeah, behind here, we're going to get through to that door. Oh, hello. Where is it? Hello. Oh, crap. It's coming towards us. Double crap. Went the other way last time. Why didn't I go the same way? <laughs> God damn it. Which way are you coming? Oh, perfect. Sneak seat. We got you. Right, um, for the last bit, I think we are just going to pelt it. Right, run, 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 run. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. It can't see you. If it can't see it, it can't see me. Oh, crap. I forgot about the fire. Well, we gave it a good try. Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Objective complete. Survive by a sheer fluke. From now on, the Marine Squad will be controlled as a single entity. Excellent. Let us move all forward. And get the Cerberus hell off this ship. Infect. Now, since what we are running, we're not protocol. really going to see this no happen. Just Later on, we'll slow things down corners. and zoom it's in a bit because quarantine. these soldiers the will in? actually the guard their six. They'll Sounds be looking like around, checking through doorways as they open, and changing their facing. Oh, wait, did we lose someone? Who the... <laughs> Oh crap, we're already losing them. Who are you? Latimer. Latimer, you're letting us down. Maybe I should change your name to Lacking More. I'll uh, see myself out. Ooh, call the elevator. You are very close to that flame. Throwing that one out there. You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Oh my god, is he a Harper? sidekick? We've got movement. Did you just go all MPH on us? I mean, I am not complaining. Do the alien always have psychics? And that is actually a serious question. I, I'm intrigued. I might, have to, I might have to do a little bit of researching on this. Squad motion tracker. The motion tracker indicates any moving entities within a 60 meter radius with a white dot. It can also help you out dealing with traps. Sneaksy little hint. Right, well that thing is well and truly behind a bunch of walls, so it's going to have to run pretty darn far to get to us. So let's tan it. <laughs> Who cares how noisy you are? We're fine. Oh god, no. Tan it this way. Round the door.
Hmm. Well, it was very far away. It looks like we have literally walked into the room where it is. Oh wait, isn't this where the guy was? Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, we don't understand! It's here! It's here! Ooh. Light it up! Hmm. Crunchy. Shooting basics, Marines are trained to automatically open fire when running Marines can't use their weapons. The war people. This is war, darn it. Swimming pool rules applied. <laughs> well, at least it gives us a chance to check out that movement. Got Marines checking rooms, checking their six. It's good stuff. It's little things like this. Just take them out. Come alive. Use a grenade. God, I hate the sound effects of those things. Right, the skill menu. This is a big part of the game. So we're going to hit spacebar. And I'll just note, I went into the settings and changed this to pause. Completely pause time. Normally when you start playing, it will be on slow motion when you do this. But I honestly just found trying to use some of the abilities became really fiddly when I was doing it in slow-mo. So I'm going to keep playing this with pause. But um, yeah, you, you have the option available. But first, let's get rid of these goddamn arachnids. I, I know exactly why I hate those things. I hate spiders. I just, I despise spiders. Why in God's name do I live in Australia? I freaking hate spiders. Quad command points. These are resources that can be spent in order to use skills. They're refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. Do note that as your soldiers freak out, which they will bloody freak out. <laughs> well, the song's stuck in my head. We freak need that out. elevator. Yeah. Punch it. Well. <laughs> But unfortunately, they will not be dancing. Instead, it reduces the amount of command points you have available, as well as adding in things like reducing their accuracy and yeah, just making them worse, basically. Sanity. It's a good choice for an alien game. Up. All right, set for suppressing fire and check your targets. And the most important skill, suppressing fire. Right, so where we drop this is where they will always try to aim. As you move them around, they'll focus on this location. So let's bonk it right in that doorway closer. and we'll be able to slow anything down that enters Steady. the hole. Steady. Although it is going to cost a lot of ammunition. Daniel! Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Oh, the neck Get twist. Now oh, that is an evil genius if I ever saw one. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. I concur, Abilene. Oh god, that was Latimer. I don't concur, you're terrible. You get stuck behind walls. To the docking bay! What ho! I doth concur. Were we heading off to the elevator again? Hey, what a mess! Hold still, I'm... Oh no. What? It's blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck, what kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. Alright, let's get off this damn station. Oh god, I hadn't even noticed last time. Oh, right, let's just go through. So first off, acid burst. This causes one damage to nearby Marines when they die. Understood. There is as well. There's a full... I was going to say a full squad. But there's at least two of them. Half a squad. Kill Marines. They did not do well. Come on, Latimer. Let's get you out of here. Could have happened to a more deserving individual, really. We need Latimer mobile ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. 
Marine, health points, and armor. The health bar is composed of the following life, represented by health points, and armor, represented by white armor points. That doesn't actually say the green bit. It just says life, represented by health points. Anyway, when a Marine's health drops to zero, they'll end up either in a critical condition or dead. And that wouldn't be good for us. No, it would not. I mean, that's just Latimer. I might go with that one. I might allow it. Understood. Marine wounds. A light wound will be applied to any Marine whose health drops to two health points. In this case, your Marine has a wounded leg, which applies a movement speed penalty. Light wound effects are described in the Codex. Now, I will actually bring this up a little later on, just so we can have a look through, as to be honest with you, the majority of information... Even though we're completing a tutorial and you have to complete this every time you start the game, which is annoying as hell, even though you're doing that, it still doesn't really teach you that much. So going through that codex is going to be pretty darn important, particularly if you want to play this on higher difficulties. Now though, that has been understood. Aye, Captain. Select our Marine and let's go ahead and call some first aid. <laughs> And I'll tell you something that they haven't told us so far. That you do need two people alive in order to use first aid. As in, you cannot first aid yourself. You can only do it to a fellow squad mate. So if you're ever down to one, you're doomed. Not doomed in this game. Quite enjoyable. Hmm. Might as well, might as well have to play it while listening to the Doom song. Shit, they're, in the wall. they're too close. Switch to your sidearms. This is the ability that you're going to want it to they're pause too for. Switch to Shotgun. Arm. Those things are handy for close encounters. Ooh. Lovely. Right, we need to get the hell off this station. Pick up the pace, Marines. And no, I am totally not trying to memorize their barks. Or have ever considered work in voice acting? No thoughts at all. Only broken dreams. Something not so great happened in there. Why is there no? <sighs> Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge, what's up with you? Move now! We're in danger. Darn you, psychic douchebag! Right, let's get the hell out of here. Sergeant Harper, pull it together. We have to leave. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here. Hot evac. All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Aye, aye, ma'am. Creatures incoming. Let's get ready. They open up to provide suppressing fire. We're going to plonk that. Shit, reading multiple right contacts. There. Closing fast. How many of those things are there? Too many. We have to go. <laughs> Just shooting the wall. It'll be fine. Oh my days! It will not be fine. Do it. More of them are coming. Oh, thank Hold God. your position, Marines. Well, don't worry, Hans. Let's just. No right, I'm holding back. back. I'm gonna, gonna use. I'm holding back. Let's use a grenade on this set. I was just. Um, they got a lot closer than I thought they would. You can use slow mo. Yeah, slow mo or pause. Your choice. Personally, I prefer a little bit of pausing. But we're definitely going to need to use some abilities because we are running out of ammunition and I don't want everyone reloading at the same time. Boom! Dismembered! And that's the way I like it! Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's... It's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? 
You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs you heard to... Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Levy. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people. You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it anyway? Right. That was a whole lot to take in. But we have made our escape. We are currently on the USS Otago, our brand new base. So let's go through, let's check out some of our facilities. And after all of that story, I'm actually quite impressed. We managed to get through all of this in like less than an hour, I think. I may have turned my timer on a little bit late, but we're making good time. Let's find out about all the facilities here and then we'll get ready to start our first mission. Let's see, understood. Take me to have a nice day. headquarters. Deputy Administrator Hayes. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. The med bay is where wounded Marines are sent to recover from their injuries. Select the wounded Marine, El Shah. Oh, interesting. The one that received the light wound is actually doing okay. This one's a priority. 
Understood. I will, will assign them a doctor, which will reduce only by a day the amount of time it will take for them to recover. Stay safe, okay? Next up, our workshop. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, administrator? In the workshop, you can unlock weapons. Producing weapons requires materials. Light and lock two marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. Nice. Let's see. We currently have the pulse rifle. We can get a smart gun. The heavy, heavy pulse rifle. Ooh. Baby. You'd lose your grenade launcher. But it, you kind of make up for it because you have 125 ammo. Maybe. I am intrigued. The smart gun, 150. Hot darn. Either way, let's have a quick look at all of these and then we're going to shuffle over to the laboratory. Service pistol, we already unlocked this. We can get the revolver, extra damage, submachine gun, little pistol. Nice. Maybe. I mean, it's you're going to run out of ammunition pretty quickly for that. Yeah, ammunition is a real issue in this game. We will see the mechanics later on, but you can run out very fast. It, it, it gets dangerous. Particularly early on when you haven't got any of the skills, and since the game doesn't really tutorialize it or stress how important it is to save your ammunition properly. Just another one of those points to bring up. We have our special weapons, shotguns, incinerators. I want one, I want one so badly. Mines, RPGs, heck yeah. And sniper rifles. It's nothing to blow your socks off, but a nice little smorgasbord of equipment to go through. And most importantly, the iconic one. We're getting a smart gun. I don't, I don't care if it's good or bad. We're getting a smart gun. Bye bye now. Right, next up, our lab. Administrator Hayes, what research shall be I done? Can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Utani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Stay safe out there. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? Heartless. We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lay the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know? Intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm going to keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Oh, you can tell she cares so deeply about those civilians. You can access the deployment panel from the command deck. Let us Operations begin. Ready. Prepare for our first mission. 
So this is a representation of the planet Lethe. I, I totally missed it when they said it. Is it Lethe or Leith or something? I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back through the video myself. I'll do it when I'm editing. We'll figure out what the hell this place is called. Either way, available missions will be displayed on this panel. Select Dead Hills Colony to access the mission. So each of the areas is considered a mission and then you're given objectives as you're running through. You can also collect data pads. It's just some little things you can pick up as we go. We might try for all the data pads. I'm not going to deny it. I'm kind of tempted. Quite enjoy my pottering. But honestly, I'm going to accept just hitting those primary objectives and completing the darn game. It's a horror game. I don't do too well with them. We'll have to see how well we can keep our stealth up. Because if the aggression gets too big, mate, we are bugging out. And not intended, but pleasantly enjoyed. Dead Hills. Let us build our squad. Understood. Uploading mission data. And the unfortunate thing is, we can't change any of this. So for the first mission, management options are locked. Later you'll be able to select the marines who will be sent on the mission and modify their equipment. And this is what I was saying, we'll have to wait till later episodes to actually see a lot of the mechanics. Particularly as we're going to be trying to complete as many of those objectives in a single run as we can. But let's go over what we have. All of our soldiers are equipped with basic equipment. Pulse rifle, handgun, shotgun, oh my. On top of that, they come with some negatives. So we have Clumsy Web, Bad Luck Sharp, Cowardly McDonald, and the Conspirator Smith. That could be a little bit dicey for us. We'll, we'll see how that plays out a little later on. Once we have our Marines, we can then select our supplies. When departing from mission, you can pick different supplies, medicals and tools. Pick two supplies of each type. One, two, three, four. Marvelous. If you know you're going into an area where you're going to be able to collect a lot of this pretty quickly, you can skip it and save those resources. Or alternatively, you can absolutely stockpile the hell out of it. Plus, we will soon be gaining access to some extra equipment later on. But for now, hoorah, Marines. Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. Get the perimeter gate open. Let's see what's going down in this burg. 